I'm Kenneth Price, director of The Wonder Year, going from about December 2009 until February of um, 2011. And so it follows him to his home in Winston-Salem, working with you know his artists in the studio, uh, touring around, life in North Carolina, his family life, uh, and you know, and then also has a lot of kind of musician cameos of like Drake and Buckshot and Fonte and uh, J. Cole and you know, a whole list of the Sean Money XL. And so those guys are just kind of talking about, you know, what night his music has meant to him. And I just kind of made the film uh, because I've just been a Little Brother fan, Ninth Wonder fan, fan of that whole movement uh, being from North Carolina. And I just wanted to share that, I guess, in, in some way. I just always like nice music. And so I think the film hopefully will enlighten people and, you know, make them appreciate his music and, and, you know, check out his huge body of work that's only growing. Um, I mean, I consider myself just a filmmaker. Uh, I've started doing a lot of music videos through doing uh, the documentary. I guess I've done like about 50 music videos the past two years with Knight and his artists and everything. But um, that all is a secondary thing. That all came from making this film. Um, and making this film came from, you know, making two feature films before that. So it's always growing on, on top of that. But at the end of the day, it's just being a filmmaker. Um, I want people, you know, to find inspiration in the film and, and see it as Ninth doesn't come from a musical family or you know, his dad's not a famous music producer or, you know, he didn't grow up in that environment. He grew up in, you know, a pretty small town, a pretty rural town and just loved hip-hop and hip-hop culture. And so, you know, what he's, what he's done is, is all self-made and he hasn't overthought it. And, uh, you know, I think that's, that should be inspirational for anyone, whether you're a hip-hop artist or a hip-hop producer or, or whatever you do with it. It doesn't, you don't have to take the, the usual path. You know, he didn't buy an NPC and, you know, move to New York and start just banging out beats. He bought, a, he got a Hewlett Packard laptop and Fruity Loops and got a Grammy a couple years later. So. I think it should be a kind of an inspirational tip. So I went to school, undergraduate school in Wilmington, North Carolina, and worked in the film industry down there. Worked on One Tree Hill and Dawson's Creek and uh, the Outcast film Idlewild and stuff like that when they, they shot in town. And then kind of got burned out of the film industry, went back to grad school. Um, and this is my graduate thesis film. So, um, you know, I got my master's degree a couple months ago when I, when I finished up, and this was my, you know, in project for that. This earned me a, a, a master's degree, which is, which is crazy to say. The future, like I'm, I'm still in North Carolina, I'm still working with Ninth and all of his artists, doing a lot of work with Rhapsody, um, Big Remo, Actual Proof, Hollow, you know, all of the Jamla Records artists, and then you know, hopefully gonna be keep working on projects with LRG. Um, my day job is I'm a associate producer on Ghost Recon Future Soldiers. I'm a big video game guy, so that's my kind of nine to five. So you can check for Ghost Recon Future Soldier coming out in March if you're a, if you're a gamer. But yeah, you know, just more music videos and and, um, and hopefully more documentaries.